What's going on, y'all? We'll back at you again with another reaction. All right, so before I talk about um, the fucking last episodes, I want to say some things. So, as you guys may have already seen, um, last Bleach video was was really shitty. I'm not gonna lie, it was really shitty. But the reason why it was really shitty is because I had so actually I actually woke up very early, recorded, edited all the videos by like. My lunchtime, you know, which is really early normally. But as soon as I uploaded the first version of the Bleach video of yesterday, it was like 30 minutes long. The one that I uploaded yesterday that finally got, you know, approved was 14 minutes long. So I had to go through the, ver the, the, the Bleach video you saw yesterday was like the fifth version. That means four other times I had to edit, I had to upload, I had to change some shit. And it was a very grueling process. So, I damn near spent at least 15 hours yesterday dealing with my Bleach, epi Bleach episodes, Shippuden episodes, and Hunter x Hunter episodes, making sure each of them was approved by YouTube, okay? So, <clears throat> before you tell me, oh, this shit looks fucking awful, dude, I know. I basically didn't have enough time in the day to make a good video. There wasn't enough time. I gotta sleep, I gotta eat. You know what I'm saying? So, but I say that to say this. I'm trying as hard as I can to make sure these are watchable. To make sure you guys get the best viewing experience of the anime and of myself. You know what I'm saying? I'll find a good editing style through testing, through just keep making videos. It'll, it'll, it'll get there, you know? Just that these might be rough. I'm telling you right now, I'm still learning how to edit and all that kind of stuff. So the, the videos, maybe for the next, I don't know, I don't know, a couple of weeks, they might they might be a little rough. But eventually I'll find a good editing style that both me and you will enjoy. So just know that. Just know I'm trying. Okay? I know some of the, I know yesterday's bleach video was shitty. I'm aware. I'm totally aware. But it was the only version that YouTube would let me upload. All the other versions, they, they just kept saying no, no, no. Imagine how that makes me feel. Editing for an hour, uploading for an hour, for them to say no to me. Four times in a row, bro. So, don't hate on me too much. Just know that I'm trying, okay? I'm trying as hard as I can. <laughs> All right, man. Anyway, with that being said, also, uh, it, it was fine, because yesterday's episodes are pretty weak anyway. Fucking Omida fight was weak, um, and Soifon is losing her fight. So it wasn't even, I, I, we didn't even miss anything, to be fair. But I just want to say those things so I can preface, you know, everything that's that you're going to see in the future. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, enough of that shit. Um, so yeah, last episodes, uh, pretty much the highlight of the last episodes were, pre were pretty much the Arankar Resurrection forms. We got our fucking Hulk Elephant, uh, Party Walk over here, and we got Vega, um, with her, with, with his Tiger form. Those were the highlights of the episodes. We've already seen, um, Soifon Shikai, which is still very cool. Her fucking middle finger dagger, very cool. One of the coolest Shikais, goddamn. Uh, Omaida, um, he did prove why he was a lieutenant. Of course, he knows Flashed Up, of course, you know, he was able to take down fucking Pardewak and you know in kind of one shot that would make him knocked out for a little bit but he still is annoying to me you know I, I, I need him to, to, to legit 1v1 on a wrong card and beat him you know in like in a normal way <laughs> why the fuck was he kicking a dead body everyone knows you gotta hit it twice to make sure if he hit it once and started fucking around with it and he paid for it so I don't know Omida is pretty annoying to me but at the same time I know I know Soifon's character, and I know she doesn't fuck around. So there has got to be a goddamn good reason why Omida is a, is a, is a lieutenant. There's got to be a good reason why he's number two. You know what I'm saying? So I trust in Soifon's judgment, but right now, I do not like Omida. That's just the way he is. It was funny at first, the way he was acting. It was funny at first, but now, I don't give a shit. Just please fight good. You know what I'm saying? 
And that's pretty much it. We have our other matchups. We have Toshiro versus Halibel, which is a very good looking Aran card. And I can't wait till she zips down and shows her face because if her, if her face is nice looking, she might take best girl ahead of Yoruchi. Because right now Yoruchi is winning with Nell being Nell's adult form being second and uh, Rukia being third. Well, well, in my eyes. I'm sure everyone has their own opinions, but this is just through me. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. As soon as she shows, shows her face and it's looking nice and good, ooh, I might. I'm, I'm kind of hoping there's just stuff like Because uh, it, it is showing her hollow mask on the sides. So, I'm kind of hoping there is just a hollow mask covering her mouth. Because in that case, we'll just keep Yoruchi as number one. But if she's got a nice face with it, I'm going to put her on that list. You feel me? Um, so yeah, we got that. We have Stark and Lilinette versus Ukitake and Kiraku. Kiraku and Stark seem like the fucking same same dude. They're just on different squads. They're both very aloof and very calm. So that should be a cool fight. Um, and we have Matsumoto actually 3v1ing the Fractions of Halibel. Fucking, um, yeah. So that, that should be a pretty hard fight for her. Um, she's, she is lieutenant level, but they, they, they've already, um, they've already identified her as captain level. Just the way they were leveling her Riyatsu and her power, so. Let's see what Matsum we haven't really seen Matsumoto fight fight, you know? We haven't seen her, we, we've seen her in very short fights, so. This would be, uh, an interesting way to see just how strong he is and gauge her actual strength, you know what I'm saying? So, that's good there. So yeah, everyone's got their matchups, and let's fucking see if we can win, so. Like and subscribe, and let's go and get into it. Bleach episodes 223 and 224. Handle this. I've had enough of your comedic relief. <laughs> oh, shit. He actually knows how to use that thing pretty goddamn well. Show me something, Lomita. Come on, man. I really want to like you, bro. Oh! Oh, Maida? Did he finish his fight? What the fuck? Where'd he come from? <laughs> okay. Nice move. Question mark? <laughs> oh, he's gonna fucking sarah your ass point blank, bro. Stupid ass Omida. Siphon! She's gotta be holding back her power, right? She's having trouble with a Fraction? That really worries me. Please tell me she's holding back her power. Okay, so she was trying to gauge his power? I had a feeling she was doing that. It just—it just looked like gen she was genuinely having a rough time with it, though. But I guess she's got it. Damn, that's a—I mean, yeah, true, but that's a fucked up way to <laughs> think about shit, you know. But I guess that—that that makes sense if you're a part of the fucking stealth corps. You know, for Fraxion, this Aronkar has a really cool resurrection form, you know? <laughs> Alright then, Omida. Alright. You got him. I still don't like him, though. <laughs> Damn. Soifon. Looking all good and shit. So I know she won the fight, but this guy had two resurrections? No? He transformed twice. Ooh. Sexy. Damn. That's so sick. She really is an assassin. Oh, 
Oh, but I'm gone. Faxions are all gone. Now he's pissed. Oh, he's standing up and everything. All right, well. Soyphone was definitely holding back. And now I guess we're going to see what she truly has. Because she definitely can't do the same shit against this guy. This is quite possibly the, num the, the number one Espada that we're looking at here. But I go. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, I mean, this is to be, to be expected, though. This is three at one. Three on one, bro. Even if they're just fractions, like... It's definitely a tough fight. Oh, yeah. Kiraka's a dual wielder, right? So he must be ambidextrous. is that when did Matsumoto do that shit oh she, she didn't do it who did it Hinamori what the fuck she come from also why is she here doesn't she think Aizen's uh, like her her lover or some shit the, the, her dad hello well she has energy blast if I'm not mistaken so she's definitely useful here she'll be a big help Okay, well, at least she knows that Aizen is the enemy now, finally. Jesus Christ. Even after even after he stabbed her, she still thought that he was a good guy. <laughs> but she's all good now, so it's, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, this is manageable. 2v3, two lieutenants, this is manageable. We can do this, you know? Find a way. What happened? What is that? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Kinomori is a keto master. So she's got shit like this. Nice. Good shit, Hinamori. Oh, she gets set fire to all three of them? Ooh, fire. Literal fire. Damn, this Stark guy is uh, pretty sharp. I only noticed that he was ambidextrous. So I know these two are like happy-go-lucky and all, but I would still love to see them fight, you know, on a serious level. <laughs> That'd be cool. They're really gonna put more clothes in this fucking little girl. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Yikes. My goodness. Oh, 
山のシビでしょこんな長くて複雑に貼ったのは初めて見たけどはいシビに作った方を練り合わせたものは爆弾26番の極光で She combined Kido's? That's sick! You can do that? Oh man! Dude, imagine! Imagine! What kind of keto combinations you can make? Holy shit! We definitely need to see more of Hinamori's keto. I love it. Oh! They're releasing! Okay, so one's a snake, one's a fucking deer antelope thing. The other one is, I don't know, I, 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 gotta, I gotta see. Nice outfit. Nice outfit. Is she a lion? What is she? Okay, that's the same outfit. What are they doing? What the fuck? Yo, these three... They bicker and argue, but they've got some fucking moves, bro. What is what are they doing? Yikes. Is that a combination of all three of their animals? I think it is. Oh my goodness. Well I'm thinking this just got a lot harder. Cause it's just, it's just it just became a four V two. And all four of them are just got powered up like crazy. Right? Well, goddamn. <laughs> that was a crazy ending. Holy shit. What the fuck is that thing? So that thing is a combination of, a, of, a, of an antelope, uh, a snake, and um, I think the other one was a, li was a lion. I, I, I don't really, I, I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong, but she's either a lion or a horse. So one of those. Um, okay. Holy shit. Well, yeah, maybe we're going to need more help now. Hinamori did a great job with her keto mastery and combining several ketos to create something very cool. A fucking spider web, if you will. And that was enough for their non-resurrection forms, but now that they have all resurrected and summoned this goddamn beast, yeah, I don't know. I think we're gonna need some more help. <laughs> I don't think Hinamori and, Ra and Rangiku are enough for, for, the, for this fucking monstrosity of a thing now. Uh, okay, well then, help! Um, Kiraku and Stark. Their fight looks very uh, calm. They're both just. I think eventually they're both gonna have to power up, but they're gonna do it. They're probably gonna do it the slowest, just because their their personalities are just mirror each other so well. You know what I'm saying? But that's also a fight that I'm interested in because calm characters like that are usually one of the stronger ones. So I'm definitely interested to see what uh, what, what kind of powers they have. Cause we see we we've seen a bunch of Kiraka, but we haven't seen him do any fucking powers. So I know I know he's a dual wielder and shit, but. What else has he got? You know what I'm saying? Um, it looks like Ukitaka is gonna fight against the, 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 the lolly girl who honestly needs to put on way more clothes. Holy shit. Um, and Soifon and Omaida are, is going up against Baragon because they took out his faxions. Um, and luckily, so Soifon was holding back against a tiger. She just wanted to get, gather more info, like, a, like, you know, like an assassin slash sc scout person really does. Uh, but she was able to take it out pretty easily. But. I do not. I do not want to forget that that the tiger guy had two transformations. He had his regular re resurrection, and then one after that. So, I mean, can more people do that? The fuck, man! I'm sure he was stronger then. He just didn't expect the soy phone to be holding back that much power. You know, he was not expecting her actual assassin technique. I think it was really dope how she uh, hit him from both sides, but hit the same spot on on, on the lung from both sides. That was fucking sick. You know what I'm saying? So now.